A few months ago I made a USB cable fix video, but it required soldering, and I realized a lot of people just want to get their USB cables in and out in about 5 minutes. So for you, the 5 minute USB cable fix. Now we move on to the supplies we're going to need. It's only going to take two things to fix this USB cable. Firstly, we'll need a pair of sharp scissors. And finally, I'm just going to use a few scotch locks that I've had left over. If you don't have any of these, then all you have to do is do a Google search for 3M branded scotch locks, the butt type style of connector, and at a 19 to 26 gauge wire rating. Only four will be needed, but it never hurts to have extra. To begin, just snip off the damaged portion of the wire. Take off a little bit from each side to make sure no damaged wire is left. Now, take one half of the cable, and we're going to take off the outer insulation without accidentally cutting into the wires. To do this, I utilize a technique where I hold the scissors slightly closed and roll the wire in between the scissors. You don't want to cut through the cord and possibly shorten the length of your cable too much. You want to be sure to get a couple of centimeters of wire out because we're going to need it when we reconnect the two sets of wires. Once I've rolled it enough, I've cut enough insulation that I can just bend it until the insulation can just twist off and be removed. Once we expose some shielding on the inside, we just need to unwrap it and expose the four USB wires on the inside. It kind of just untwists and the shielding will come right off and you can use your scissors just to cut off this extra bit of unnecessary shielding. In my case there was also a little white string attached in there as well, so I just clipped it off. Do not mix this up with the white wire. You are going to need the white wire to reconnect everything. Repeat this process with the other side of the USB cable. Now we'll be ready to rejoin the two sides. With the two sides exposed, we're ready to use the 3M branded scotch locks. First, pick out a set of wires that are the same color. I use green because green's my favorite color. Once the wires are separated out, you're ready to slip on a 3M branded scotch lock. Sometimes it can be a bit of a tedious process to make sure that the wires are slipped in far enough so that when you pop down the button that you won't have one of the wires hanging out. So make sure to kind of stuff the wires in there and check and make sure they're threaded through enough through the clear backing. If you're able to see the wire being threaded through the metal portion of the scotch lock, then it'll be far enough for whenever you pop the button down. So, happily satisfied, you can try to pop the button down with your fingers, and this is what they're designed to do, although sometimes it can be a lot harder than it seems. To help me out, I just use my scissors to help apply more pressure in a focus point. I slide in the wires to make sure that they aren't falling out, and once I'm satisfied, I begin to press down on my scissors until the button pops. You can give them a small tug and they shouldn't pop out of place of the scotch lock. If they do, it means they aren't secured and they're not connected. So use another scotch lock and try again. This is why it's good to have extras. Now repeat with the remaining colors. Be sure to keep red with red, white with white, and black with black. Sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating whenever you're trying to thread wires through and they keep falling out of the scotch lock. Just keep trying and keep going until finally you're able to pop them together. Be sure that you pop these down very tightly every time that you do it. If you don't do it tight enough, the wires might not connect and the USB cable will not work. Now we're ready to test out our USB cable fix. I just plug it into the same wall outlet as before, and there you have it, the 5-minute USB cable fix.